tournament. All the slides. Let's go. And the game can start now. All right. We are here at Grand Finals. Uh, a first Grand Finals. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. Uh, we have Dill versus Venia in Grands of Xeno. Mm -hmm. that, that's crazy. That never happens, ever. And for those that don't know, this has happened the past three times. Yeah, I was being completely sarcastic for those of you watching the stream who didn't understand that. But I assume most of you did if you're frequent viewers of the Xeno stream. We got Dill sitting very pretty on the winner's side of the bracket, aiming to be the first uh, player in Xeno history to take four Xeno tournaments in a row. That's actually a, that, 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 that's a big deal. It is a, it, it's a, it's a pretty big deal. So there, there is. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's a, it's a huge deal. Yeah. And uh, Benia, pretty much the second place champion for every single Xeno this season. He is hoping to not only break that curse and break that string, but also stop Dill from being the first ever player uh, to win four tournaments in a row, and to also just save everyone's mind from watching Dill win a fourth Xeno in a row. I'll see if he can. He's the hometown hero right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, Benia is the king of second place in the past couple of weeks, man. Like, every, every you know, this season, second place. And it's just like, this could be his opportunity to try to do something, but it's got a long, big mountain to climb because he's got to take not just one, but two sets from Dill. Both starting at pretty even percents. Benia's just having a hard time just getting back down to the ground. But when the banana, he's actually protecting the banana now, you'll notice. Puts it to the right side to give Dill without it, but he does not need it. Down tilt, up smash. Trying to space out the back ears yet again. Venia is just gonna chill. He's out of jumps. He's gonna force to use, go into his up B. Try to get with the rocket barrel boost. Covered so many different options with that kill. Wow. This is just an insane edge guard, honestly. Yeah, now, for sure, for sure. Now we got Dill bringing it back here. Got a pop gun his way in. Toss the banana once. Only got one more toss before that evaporates. And look how patient he's playing. He's like he's like chilling away from Venia. Waits for an opening, gets in there, tries to attack on damage, but doesn't like overstay his welcome. Again, yeah, same thing happening again. He's been coming down, just walls him out with the forward air. It can be insanely frustrating to deal with this. There we go. Big boy plays coming from Venia. Bro, that, air. Censor that. The kids can't see that. Yeah. I'm shocked Dill went for that air dodge. Like, I guess maybe he just thought that Dill was gonna go up and up air. I mean. Yeah, not gonna lie. I mean, he started charging that. Uh, he char started charging that up smash way before like even the semblance of the situation of the air dodge was out. It's not even just like a read of him. Uh, a read of him air dodging right there. It's just the situation didn't exactly look right. It looked like Dill could have at least reacted to it beforehand. But like you said, uh, I don't really know why he did it either. It seemed like he could have gotten out of that pretty easily. But uh, that is not the case for Dill. Unfortunately, he's going to falter. His uh, second stock, uh, his uh, first stock, I should say, uh, his first stock to that, and uh, Venia slowly but surely bringing this back. Only about a 30, 40% uh, differential, I should say, between these guys right now. Just one or two more solid combos from Venia, perhaps some stray hits on that front, and this game will all of a sudden be relatively even. But you gotta be patient around Dill. You gotta be patient around the banana. It's one of the biggest things about fighting Diddy Kong. You gotta play around the gosh darn banana. And when you don't, you get up tilted. Yep. So we got uh, Dill up one to zero against Venia, one game away from taking home his fourth Zeno, the first player ever to win a four Zenos in a row. That's one month, y'all. That that's, that's a month of just winning. Just you know, his pocket is filled with money. That is quite yeah. the feat. My man is taking home. Cash. Really, Zeno is, and dare I say, and I will come out and say this, is one of the most stacked locals in the country. Let alone on um, the coast. At least I think that. In terms I of the used to we think have. that. You used to think that. Lately, I don't believe it. But no. in the past, yes. I mean, definitely there are some pretty crazy stacked ones out in SoCal. Mm -hmm. You know, that comes a lot. I, I should have just said East Coast at the very least because yeah, I think no, that's yeah. true. I, yeah. But yeah, you know. And we got 89% tacked on to Dill. Venia doing pretty good here on Final Destination is a uh, stage of choice. He says he loves doing it even against Diddy Kong because he was one of those gosh darn platforms. Gur, get off my lawn. Yeah, it's pretty scary, actually. I mean, really. And just got to say, really Ooh, ballsy. Ooh, the neutral wanting air. To fight, uh, wanting to fight in Devon. He, he's putting his hand. I, you guys can't see it, obviously, but he is putting his hand on his head. And speaking of putting his hand on his head, we got Venia putting his hands above his head with that up smash, uh, that up smash show you can, uh, able to take out uh, Dill's first stock. Feeling pretty comfortable on a stage that he likes, regardless of the uh, 
character he's fighting against and the matchup. Like you said, it's really ballsy for him to really want to take Dill to a stage like this. I mean, it's really hard for, like, a lot of characters to really play around the banana on this stage. It's so easy for, like, Diddy's neutral to just overwhelm you on the stage as well, as well as easy for him to land. So, you know, like you said, it, it is a relatively questionable pick, but it is a good stage for Greninja as well. And, it, you know, for Venia, like you said, it's kind of a comfort pick. So, you know, I mean, if he's if he's comfortable on this stage against uh, Dill, and so far it's looking really good for him, he still hasn't lost his, uh, still hasn't lost his first stock yet, then really, what does the character matter? What well, does not matter? Working man. out for him, apparently. I think Dill's only still at pretty low percent. Could easily try to close out the stock and bring this back to an even game. But he's got to close out now. He's got to keep this momentum. He's got to hold on to it because he's got to get two games this set. Dill putting out these forward airs as a wall. I mean, at this point, Dill's going to be looking for, like, a down tilt. Down tilt can easily land into an up smash or just go for it, Rock, because he's catching that double jump. Ooh, what a mix nice up. nice tomahawk. That was a very magician's trick. nice tomahawk to be able to get that kill. Z dropping his banana behind him, making him think he's just going to, like, do a little empty hop, land, grab it, and throw it forward. And then Diddy, with his raw, incredible dash speed that he has in this game, is able to just tomahawk Venia, run up, grab him, and get that patented up throw to up air. Cross up the eye, able to take out Venia's first stock. Very good stuff. Classic uh, fundamental base play coming out from Dill. Okay, trying to catch this back. He's out of jumps. Catches the monkey flip. Immediately a second one? Really? He didn't even move. He didn't even move. He just stood there and like did the cheer squad. He was like, ready? Okay. Twice Got it both times. I mean, he knew that Dill was going to drift into it every single time. Dill sitting at 73%. You know he's fishing for those pivot grabs. Shadow sneaking his way out. Greninja does not like getting comboed. I just had flashbacks to the last, you know, the last time like he triggered that counter with down tilt and it happened four times in a row. Yeah. Gotta watch out for it. I did not want history to repeat itself. Venny was very aware this time around. He went the platform, so. 111 to 69%. Back air. No, getting pushed back instead. Now Dill's gotta be careful. Venny is one neutral air away from getting the, closing out this game. A grab into up air could also work. Okay, good spacing with that back here just pushes him away. You see him jumping all over the place. Dill's just going to remain calm, chill back, hold on to that peel for as long as possible. These are the kinds of situations where you have to remain calm. When you're down against your opponent, when you know you have to, when you know you are the one who has to approach, you are the one who has to think up of something clever to make your way in that neutral and eventually get the game, not quite yet. Uh, when you're that person, you just got to relax. When you start getting comboed and everything, you know, you just got to chill, assess your situation a little bit, just breathe, don't let yourself get overwhelmed or anything, just like so many players typically do against Diddy Kong. Both these players, you don't get to grand finals of a Xeno unless you're, you know, calm enough. You don't get to be at this stage of the game unless you know how to handle your nerves, or at least your tournament nerves. And the stakes are insanely high right now. 111 to 138. He's literally one down tilt from winning this tournament. Almost got that up tilt. That would have worked just as well. Got the down tilt coming from Venia. Try to get the edge guard, edge hog. Just goes for a pivot grab and do an up throw, trying to mix up Dill's DI. This man peel instead. Loses the peel. Tries to spawn that it again. Venia it. capitalizing on the spawning of the peel, punishing it, and brings us to a game three scenario. Super close game. But now we got Dill with the counter pick. And Dill's probably going to take him to like Battlefield or Smash. Probably. What is the ban? That's the ban. Lila no, is no. the ban. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Venia does not like Lila. Uh, it's it's uh, not because uh, of the layout. It's because of, like he just doesn't like the tilting and not being able to grab the ledge sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully, yeah. the stage will be fixed for ultimate. Here Hopefully. we go. Going straight to Battlefield. Like you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try plats. You don't like plats? platforms? Here's three of them. That was just a point blank peanut pop gun shot. Okay. I feel it. I get that. Trying to push him off the platform with that forward air. Now, Venny's just going to have to remain calm for as long as possible here. And also, something that Venny could employ is he's been playing a lot more defensive against Dill lately. He can easily do that on these platforms. If he manages to snag that lead and just kind of camp the platforms a bit, forcing Dill to approach him. But he is losing by a little bit here. Got to get some momentum first. Van Peel's going to get eaten alive by that forward air. About a 40% differential between these players right now. Many are slowly but surely trying to tack that on. Okay, got him at 92. No air dodge allowed. 
as a back. Now, Dill has such a great lead. He can easily just chill underneath the platform. This is another reason why Vinya despises fighting Dill on the stage. Dill can just chill. Look at that. That position when he has the peel in hand underneath the platform, that disallows Vinya from being able to jump in with a neutral air from, like, anywhere on the stage. Yeah, absolutely, because all Dill is going to do in that situation is roll back or shield and then just chuck that banana on you as a whip punish and you're going to be eating a lot more damage than, frankly, you're going to want to, but that you will deserve to if you do some uh, greedy, impatient options like that. So it's just like you said, on a stage like this, what's a, what's a little, what's a frog to do? What's a frog to do just but to find his way out of the pond and then just immediately just get devoured by a monkey? He's got to unload the toad, man. It's just, it's, just, it's nature. Because as soon as they like, as soon as they raise up from like little tadpoles making their way out the pond, you know a monkey is just going to eat him alive for breakfast. Get him off stage and try to get an untackable stage situation. Not going to happen. He's going to be able to get his iframes uh, off the ledge, barely just in time to I'll, avoid that back air. I do want to talk about how Dill just walked across the entire stage to go for an up tilt. Very obviously. Then he had nice most, uh, catch on that monkey flip. Not enough to get that kill though. Mm. Yeah, Battlefield is just a, it's a big one. It's a big stage. Sometimes the most obvious options wind up being some of the best mix-ups you can find, like, or like the quote-unquote like scrubby options, if you would, because scrubby options become, in a sense, like the higher the level of play, like the really higher level of play, they become better and better, because you never expect a player that good to do something so stupid, frankly. And then uh, all of a sudden, this really bad option becomes a mix-up. Hit him with the sour spot of the up smash, speaking of mix-ups, setting him in a direction he did not expect. Got that peel. He's showing that again, like this is what Dill's, this is Dill's home. That he wants to camp underneath that platform the second he has disadvantage or back to neutral with the banana peel in hand. And Vinny's got to try to just capitalize while he doesn't have the banana. Rocket he barrel boost. He was way wow. too low for that to actually work. Yeah, Dill definitely a little upset leaning back in his chair. And this could be a potential bracket reset for Vinny. That would be, uh, that would be relatively huge and this venue would definitely be, uh, definitely go a little nuts to see a set taken off Dill in the Grand Finals here after a while and potentially yep. him losing a tournament. And he ate that double jump, so he had to go for the Hydro Pump immediately. Dill's running away with this a bit, using the command grab from the monkey flip off stage, 99%. He has the ban appeal again, chilling underneath that platform, doesn't want to approach too often. The second Venny gets above him, he knows he'll run to the other platform. This is pretty much what, the, it, it, it's hard for Venny to try to find his way in. Mm. That and, uh, and unfortunate situation for Venny to throw himself into. He missed the ledge, and he had to go for the recovery from all the way at the bottom battlefield. Venny, uh, Dill's going to be able to capitalize on that, get that back right here. He wanted to get grab that ledge, but then he like air dodged, fast fell through it, did not grab it in the end, and because that put him into a bad position, stage spike. And Dill has broken the record: four Zeno wins in a row. I don't want to interview him. <laughs>